comes to mind when you think of Oman? In my mind, it's the land of the gateway. The Gulf of Oman offers the only entrance from the Arabian Sea to the Persian Gulf. It's also the land of thousand forts. The remains of the fortress are located on a rocky spur running east-west, forming part of a wider defensive system. What's more, it's the land of frankincense. Along the Silk Road to the sea, the trade of frankincense has been traded in the region since ancient times. Well, in order to better understand the country of Oman, the oldest Arab state, I'll simply divide it into five parts. The land of Oman, the culture of Oman, the attractions of Oman, the food of Oman, and the sports of Oman. Now, let's go! First, let's start with the land of Oman. Oman, officially the Sultanate of Oman, is a country located on the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula in Western Asia. It shares land borders with the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. It also shares a marine border with Iran and Pakistan. In addition to the main body of territory, Oman also holds a small piece of land on the tip of the Musandam Peninsula, cutting off from the rest of the country by the UAE. With an area of around 309,500 square kilometers, it's slightly smaller than that of Yunnan province in China. Most of Oman is rocky and sandy, but the coastal plains are Oman's only fertile and populous regions. Besides, the country is a monarchy and the total population is about 5.21 million. Among them, there are about 30,000 people in a remote Mosandam Peninsula. Oman is currently divided into 11 governorates, with Muscat as the capital. Other sizable cities are Si, Salala, Bonshua, and Soha, etc. In addition, frankincense trees grow in Oman. Jebel Akda is the highest mountain and the Borsh River is the longest river. The national flag of Oman has three stripes of white, green and red. With a red bar on the left that contains the national emblem. The national currency is called the Ryal. And the current exchange rate for one Chinese one is about 0.06 Omani Ryal. The climate of Oman is hot and dry in the interior, humid along the coast and moderate in winter. Second, let's look at the culture of Oman. By and large, Arabic is official language of Oman, but English is widely understood. Eid al-Fitra is the most important festival of Oman, which marks the end of Ramadan. Religion in Oman is dominantly Islam, as Muslims account for a total of 88% of the entire population. As such, Omani culture is closely tied to the Islamic base, which makes Omanis very humble and down to earth. Even though it is important for all tourists to be sensitive to the Omani cultural norms and respect their values, traditions and virtues. Here are a few things 
that they should never do in Oman. Number one, littering. Don't disrespect tourist sites. Visitors should never litter at an Omanian tourist attraction or break any public property. Number two, mosque. Don't disrespect mosques. Since mosques are houses of God, visitors must understand and respect the sacredness of these places. Number three, rejecting. Don't reject or many hospitality. Visitors should accept or many gifts of dates, their food and frankincense, which makes Omanis feel appreciated. Number four, speaking. Don't speak or laugh loudly in the street. It's rude for Omanis to gather in the public and talk loudly, which might disturb or even annoy others. Number five, tradition. Don't mock Omani traditions. Any foreign tourists must never mock their beloved leaders or the long history. Third, let's talk about the attractions of Oman. In 2012, Muscat, the capital of Oman, was named the second best city to visit in the world by the travel guide publisher Lowly Planet. The Sultan Quibas Grand Mosque is the country's largest mosque and tallest structure, with an imposing 19-meter minaret. Muscat Gate Museum has an amazing view and also shows the history of Oman from the beginning of the Neolithic age to the present. The Ay Alam Palace is a palace with a history of over 200 years, which was used as a ceremonial palace by Satan Qubus bin Said al -Said. The Royal Opera House Muscat is Oman's premier venue for musical arts and culture would truly reflect unique contemporary Omani architecture in an art center. Moreover, the tourist attractions outside the capital are the Fajoriats of Musadam, famous for its breathtaking Fajoriats, boasting stretches of white sand, crystal clear waters, as well as a reed mountains. Wadi Bani Khalid is Oman's desert oasis with a natural swimming pool, which is inlaid in a cliff surrounded by a rugged ravine and vibrant date palms. Incense Market in Salala is a city of great importance in the trade of frankincense. Ras al Jiz is located in the easternmost point of the Arabian Peninsula, which is a nesting site for green turtles and also the beach at the local village of Ras al Had. Fourth, let's move on to the food of Oman. What to eat in Oman? Here are the top Omani dishes that every visitor must try during their visit to the country. Machibus is rice mixed with saffron cooked with spicy red or white meat and is almost always served at special occasions like weddings. Shua is marinated with the meat of lamb, goat or camel and is served with rice and tomato sauce. Mashuai is the dish consisting of roasted kingfish and savory lemon rice. Mashlatit is a soft flat bread stuffed with honey, meat, spinach or cheese. Shawarma is a popular sandwich consisting of meat marinated with spices wrapped in a pita bread. Mishkak is grilled pieces of marinated meat, normally chicken, mutton or beef on long wooden sticks. 
Hawa is a sticky, sweet, glutinous Omani food made from brown sugar, honey, eggs, and various spices. Omani bread is an easily prepared bread, eatable with three simple ingredients, such as flour, water, and salt. Then finally, let's move to the sports of Oman. In fact, doe racing, horse racing, camel racing, bullfighting, and fankery are Oman's pride and significant traditional sports. As for the popular sports nowadays, they are football, wrestling, tennis, cricket, sailboat racing, and keelboat competition, etc. Oman first competed at the 1986 Asian Games in Seoul, South Korea. In the previous games, the Omani athletes won a total of one gold medal and four overall medals. Take Oman competing at the 2018 Games in Jakarta, for example. The sporting events in Jakarta that Omani athletes anticipated were athletics, field hockey, sailing, shooting, swimming, tennis, volleyball, beach volleyball, and weightlifting. Well, I've only given you a brief introduction to Oman, an ancient land with rich history and dramatic landscape. However, if you want to know the true color of Oman, you need to go there by yourself. If so, remember one thing in your mind. Unlike other countries, the weekend in Oman is from Friday to Saturday. Thanks a lot. If you really like this video, please continue to watch the following units and have a wonderful day. Masalam. Goodbye, everyone.